Happy Halloween. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are. Don't forget to drink your water and stay hydrated. Um, in today's video, we are going to do a clean bake DIY. I do these every Monday. Today's gonna be a little bit different because instead of cleaning our kitchen and the house and all the things we usually do, today we are going to tackle the master bedroom closet. very very grateful to have my own closet apart from my husband um, and I'll show you guys in a second but my husband actually has his own closet and it's right across from mine but my closet since I moved in I have not organized now I have to do a whole like closet organization I'm going to like customize my closet but we haven't got around to doing that quite yet I need to let me just take you inside and you can see for yourself this is a little hallway this is my husband's closet and I'll show you what that looks like and then this right now oh my god i'm like scared to tell you <laughs> scared to show you is my closet and it is not organized it might look organized to some people if you guys don't like color coordinate your closet or put like you know jackets the other right now there's like jackets everywhere come in here and show you ow dang it <laughs> that's good look first um okay so for instance there's like a jacket here there's a robe here there's another jacket here and i like to organize my closet where like i have all my coats i have all my sweaters i have all like my t-shirts and i like them all color coordinated um that's just my preference of what i like to do and so i thought today not only can we like kind of organize my closet by like color coordinating and getting each garment in the right section but I also want to go through and declutter and get out whatever I feel like I don't wear anymore and that like I can donate and or like upcycle maybe some of my summer clothes out since even though it's freaking almost Halloween time and it's like 90 degrees outside in California by the beach mind you so it's like climate change is a real thing and kind of see like I literally have just like shoes piled on top of shoes and I have a lot of stuff going on and then this is the other side of the closet that you couldn't really see um, there's just like hats and boxes and oh fun hack for your closet um, put a candle like and open it up and have it just sitting in here and it makes your whole closet smell really yummy um, I had that from like a really long time ago I just found it in my closet and I was like I'm gonna open that up and leave it in here it actually smells really good okay so this is what this looks like um, I love these little like change drawers because um, they actually tell you like how much money is in there isn't that cool it's, uh, pretty neat um, okay and then I have this thing on the back part of my closet which is like a shoe organizer and I use it for bathing suits, sports bras, um, you know, scarves, socks, all the things. And it's very also unorganized. Um, Ooh, I forgot I had this. How cool. Um, <laughs> I love this skirt. Wow. I, okay. So I'm like finding things. There's also like these things down here. I have this whole like Disney color pop collection makeup thing. Um, there's all kinds of treasures in here my little pharmacy <laughs> um and then I have this which is like an Ikea thing and I kind of just have these things in here like this it is just really unorganized for me and it kind of makes me crazy so we are going to clean this declutter this um and then this is my husband's closet I'll turn this on when your husband's closet is more organized than yours <laughs> so ashamed um so yeah, we are going to get this started. Um, but first, I got my water. I have my little bar that I'm eating. My phone, I'm gonna play some Halloween music to get me in the spirit. And then I'm also gonna light this um, candle I got from Trader Joe's the other day that smells amazing so that my room smells nice. I'm hydrated, I have a snack, and I have like fun music. So put me in the good mood to get this freaking closet organized, so let's do this.
Okay, so before I start turning my music on um, and time-lapsing this for you, I kind of just want to talk you through what I'm planning on doing. So I'm planning on going through each single thing that I have in here. Um, so for instance, I'm just going to like pull, I'm going to pull out like each thing. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to do the kind of like Marie Kondo thing and say like, does this spark joy? Like, does this make me happy? Do I wear this? Like, am I keeping this in my closet? And then I'm literally going to do that with every single piece. And then I'm going to make a pile, a donate pile, an upcycle pile. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just two piles, a donate and an upcycle. So if I feel like I can't upcycle it in any way, um, I plan to donate and then, um, you know, whatever I do end up keeping, I'll make a pile of that and then we'll go through and organize everything um, and color coordinate. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to tam time lapse it so that we're not, you're not watching a seven hour video. I'm so excited to finally organize my closet. It's been like months and I haven't had a chance to do this. So I'm excited to do it with you guys. wanted to quickly just let you guys know a little hack or like a little trick that I use. Um, I like to pull all of my clothes out of my closet when I'm organizing or decluttering um, because I feel like closets, <laughs> unless you have like a whole room dedicated to a closet with lots of windows and light, I like to get everything out of like kind of like that dark room <laughs> and into the light so I can see it really well, see if it has any like stains or rips or tears. Um, and it also just makes it a lot easier being in like an open space to be able to do that as opposed to like stuck in your closet for hours trying to do it. So I like, like I said, I like to pull everything out. I can see everything better um, and kind of go through and see like what I like, what I don't like. And I also am able to see everything I have. If I only do like a section at a time, maybe I have like, for instance, I have two of the same thing on purpose, not by accident, but um, maybe I like, you know, see something that I already have uh, and that way I can get rid of the other thing that's maybe similar to it. Um, and that way, you know, ha does this make sense? <laughs> Am I explaining this properly? Uh, just see everything you have at one time as opposed to doing like, like sections or whatever. I still have a little bit more in my closet to pull out. So I'm gonna pull out everything and then I'm literally gonna go through everything, um, take the like seasonal clothes. So I put like all the summer clothes here, I'll show you. All the summer clothes are over on my bed over there and I'm going to actually pack those up in a box and put them in, store them in my garage. Um, or I can actually, I have this secret compartment in my bed uh, that I can actually store them in there and that's probably what I'll do instead of putting them in the garage. So um, I'll show you my secret, my secret compartment. But before I show you my secret compartment, I wanted to show you I still have stuff left in here. Um, so a lot of these are like my winter coats and jackets which I know are going to stay in here and I know I'm keeping all of them. So I'm actually just going to leave them where they're at like these. And then over here, I'm going to take some stuff out, but a lot of these are my onesies and you guys know I'm obsessed with onesies. I got rid of so many of them, but I still have some of my favorites. So I'm going to keep these in here also, just cause I know like I don't need to get rid of them or whatever. So, 
Um, but I'm just gonna color coordinate really quickly on this side. So um, that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, so we're taking a little break from our closet to make some food because I'm hungry. And today we are going to bake something really fun. This is actually really simple and easy to do and we're gonna make it a little Halloween-y because tis the spooky season. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get some bread. Now you can do this on um, like English toast. You could do it on bagels. You can do it on bread, whatever you want. All you're gonna need is a little bit of that a little bit of cheese and olives. So I'm gonna use this like white toast. We don't normally have bread like this in our house, but I was testing out a DIY and so um, that's why I have it. To make this, you basically just take your bread, take your sauce, making sure it's not moldy. You can put butter down if you want, but I don't really think we need it. So then I'm going to take a piece of cheese and a pair of scissors. And you can use a knife, whatever you want. And I'm going to basically cut out little shapes. Like so. Then I'm gonna take these little olives and make those the eyes. Then once they're done, I just pop them in the toaster for a couple minutes until cheese is like melted and the toast is toasted. And this is all vegan by the way. Okay, I think they're done. I'll pull them out. I'm going to test them out. I have food in my teeth because I just finished eating that yummy pizza. So, we are going to make some DIY makeup remover like all natural good stuff and we're gonna put it in this little jar super easy you probably already have this stuff at home um i got these bamboo reusable wipe things that i can use so we're gonna test them out i've never done this before and never tested it out so um i like doing stuff like this where we make something together and then we try it out and see like yay or nay you know what i mean um so this is really simple. All you're gonna do is fill your jar and you can use anything. Like you can use reusable stuff like this. I think would be a fun thing to put it in. Also, this is like an old uh, glass syrup container and you can put it in here because if you wanted to, you can take it like this and pour a little bit you know, on your pad. Um, or you can do something like this with a little jar and you can, you know, put them in so that they're kind of like pre-soaked and ready and then you just pull them out and use them. So it's totally up to you. The options are endless. Or, you know, you can just put it in here and then open it up and then use it that way. There's a million ways. Okay, this is how simple this is. We like easy stuff out here. You are going to take a little bit of olive oil. I think you can use coconut oil too, but I heard olive oil is better, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just winging it, putting a little bit of that. We're gonna take a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. This is like Castile soap. I'm gonna put some of that in. And then we're gonna fill the rest up with water. lid on shake it up and there's your DOI makeup remover it's that simple so we're gonna try this out and see um, how we like it um, I will also put like an actual recipe if you like exact measurements, and that way you know you don't have any issues with thinking if you put too much oil or too much water um, I think you're supposed to have way more water than oil and soap so there's that um, and then yeah I think I'm actually going to put my 
doesn't smell like anything either. So if you're sensitive to scents, this will, this is good for you. I think I'm going to actually put my little, can you guys see this? Um, reusable bamboo things in here. That way they're kind of just easy and ready to go. Like when I need to use them. So now I will have this and I will test it out for you guys and I will let you guys know what I think. So let me know if you guys end up trying this DIY and how you like it. You can also put essential oils I think in here if you want, but I like kind of unscented things for now, at least for this type of stuff. So I'm gonna test it out and I will let you guys know what I think. So this looks like part of my headboard, but actually, and it pulls out and you can store stuff in here. Isn't that so cool? So it's a little dirty. I'm gonna take my vacuum and vacuum this out. Um, it's from Z Gallery. Oh wow, it's really dirty. Um, in case anyone's curious, but take the handy dandy Dyson and just get in there. love this Dyson for like jobs like this it just works so good and it's like totally clean now look how clean it got okay now the summer clothes are put away a lot of people always ask where this little bench is from. I've had it for a while. I got it from Home Goods, and I absolutely love it. I love the color. I think it's stunning. So I also just found this little like summer bag, so I decided to throw that in there. And then I have this little reusable bag. I know it sounds crazy. I have so many of them, and this one I feel like is more of like a summery, fun color. So I think I'm just gonna throw that down there as well, and then close up shop for summer. Okay, you guys, so it is done for now. I plan to get like different type of hangers because these ones, like a lot of my clothes will slide off. So I was gonna get those ones that don't slide, but I'll start and give you a little tour. So these are all like my bras, t-shirts, tank tops, some rompers, and then I have all my pants organized and color coordinated. Then I have sweaters over here and long sleeves color coordinated and then sweaters and cardigans onesies and then i have some of like event dresses because i go to a lot of events like and those are like nicer there and then i have pajamas <laughs> and then i have my like thick warm coats so and then i just kind of organized my shoes a little bit um up there until i get like everything completely redone you know because i plan to like do a, a like total makeover on the closet um but yeah a lot of people always are like oh my god i thought you were a vegan like why do you wear uggs and these were purchased way before i became vegan that is my closet i hope that you guys liked this clean declutter organize with me and that concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on if you haven't already thank you again so much for watching i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and hope to see you in my next video Mwah!